CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 96 through 100. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 96. A software developer is working on an e-commerce platform where users input their postal codes during checkout. The developer needs to choose an appropriate data type for storing these postal codes within the system. Which of the following data types should the developer select for this purpose? The answer is B. String. Postal codes, with their blend of letters and numbers, require a data type that supports varied formats. The a string data type is optimal for this purpose, as it can handle both alphanumeric characters and diverse structures, making it particularly suitable for storing postal codes. Question 97. Which language is one step above machine code and uses symbolic instructions? The answer is D. Assembly languages. Assembly language operates just above machine code, providing a slight layer of abstraction while maintaining high efficiency and speed. It uses human-readable mnemonics for operations and addresses, making it easier to understand and write than the binary instructions of machine code. Question 98. What is the primary purpose for using functions in programming? The answer is B. To divide code into reusable components. In programming, a function is a way to group various pieces of code to perform a specific task. Instead of writing the same code many times, you create a function that you can call whenever you need it. This makes your code more organized, easier to manage, and avoids repetition. Question 99. Which of the following values would represent the fastest data transfer rate? The answer is C. 1.08 gigabits per second. By standardizing the unit of measure to megabits per second, it becomes clear that 1.08 gigabits per second offers the highest data transfer speed among the options provided. With option A, 1008 kilobits per second converts to 1.008 megabits per second. With option B, 180 megabits per second remains 180 megabits per second. With option C, 1.08 gigabits per second converts to 1080 megabits per second. And with option D, 108 megabits per second remains 108 megabits per second. Question 100. A technician is tasked with manually configuring the IP address of a new corporate workstation. Which of the following is a suitable IP address to connect to the corporate LAN? The answer is B. 172.16.5.53. The IP address 172.16.5.53 belongs to one of the three defined ranges of private IP addresses. These private addresses are essential for internal network communications, preventing external IP address conflicts. By using a private IP address, the workstation can seamlessly integrate into the corporate LAN. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.